This is the most realistic celebrity Mars colony simulation ever created. Hey, do I look like a real astronaut? <laughs> I'm William Shatner at Mission Control. Our celebrities embarked on a daring mission to outer space. I feel like a malnourished Buzz Lightyear. William Shatner hosting the new Fox reality series Stars on Mars. It premieres tonight at 7 on Fox 32. But before it does, Jake had the chance to speak with the legendary William Shatner himself. Yeah, huh? this is really cool. I'm a big William Shatner fan, as you know. So some of the biggest stars on the planet are seeing if they have what it takes to survive on the Red Planet. It's called Stars on Mars. It is hosted by the absolute best person to host a show like this, a man who knows a thing or two about leaving our planet. Of course, I'm talking William Shatner. I had the great honor of speaking with Mr. Shatner about the series, and we started out by talking about the fact that he's the host of the show. He's not actually playing, despite the fact that he's the only one of the entire group who's actually left planet Earth. Hello, Mars crew. Shatner! Okay, I'm ready. I know that, that what these stars are enduring in this show is incredibly tough. It's a real test of their endurance and their resolve. But respectfully, sir, you've been to space. So did you ever consider actually participating yourself? Because you've already proven that you have what it takes to go up there. I've been up in the space. Seen the, I've seen the vulnerability of Earth and uh, try to tell people more emphatically how important it is to get our act together before uh, we destroy ourselves uh, in global warming. But uh, Stars on Mars was shot in um, the outback of Australia. And it may be, I'm sure you get an argument, where, where the, the harshest, the most harsh desert is, but that vies for first place, I'm sure. They've all come here to prove that they have what it takes to survive. It, needless to say, that, that this is obviously a test for, for the contestants. It's going to push their limits. Uh, so I am curious, thinking over your career, what's the most a project has ever tested you? The most uh, a role or a performance or, or a movie or a series or whatever has ever pushed you to your limits in the way that, that these stars are going to be pushed? Unless it's in a, on a stage uh, in Los Angeles or somewhere uh, and you're protected from the elements and never, the, the cameras are on wheels and you go around and it's, uh, the, the most difficult part of that is to learn your words. Once you have your words and you know where you're moving, it becomes a wonderful game. When you're outside in the elements, I shot a police show in Los Angeles for five years and in the heat of Los Angeles, 100 degree heat, you're jumping on roofs. Those conditions are tough. It's, it's hard to speak. The, the here is perhaps was as the, biggest child the harshest the conditions I've been in. in. The it was tough. The, 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 the sun and the dust and the heat and the flies, it was really rough. Mars premieres tonight at 7, only on Fox 32. You know, one of the big deals about this show, uh, I think, is a lot of the technology that they use. So they have fancy they tech? They have nothing but the top technology that money can buy. For example... <laughs> what is this? this? This is the Stars on Mars rover, which uh, allows you to, to... I think it's a cooler. I was going to say. It allows you to uh, include your, your favorite beverages. Wait, is it playing Is it a music? space blanket? Is it... Oh, it's Bluetooth. Oh! I've never actually used one of these before. What is that? Like a space blanket. Okay, so it gets cold or something? So, just so you know, the next time they say that there's no money for a raise, <laughs> Sylvia Perez, it's because they blew all their money on the Stars on Mars Road. Okay. But, but don't worry. We can now transport. It is actually blasting music. What are you going to do with that? I'm taking it home. <laughs> and doing and what I'd like to see it? you try to stop me. I'm going to put Daenerys <laughs> oh, in it and drive yours. her around. It's Mike Kaplan. Do you see this, baby? I do. It's a, oh, my God. Look at the speaker in the back. It's got little Man, speakers. Like subwoofer there, the whole thing. Wow. It's very loud, Mike. Can you hear us? I'm sorry. Did you say something, Sylvia? 